Hey everybody, this is Joe with GeoVision. Today's video, I'm going to focus on the GV-SNVR0812 device, and I'm going to show how to add cameras, as well as do some general settings on the cameras and get them recording. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and also giving this video a thumbs up. So again, for today, I want to first focus on getting the cameras added in, showing you how to make some settings changes to the cameras, and also configure recording settings. Now, one thing that you do want to do prior to starting in all of this process is you do actually want to format the hard drive that you have installed in the machine. On this particular unit, I do not have a hard drive, but if you did have one that's already installed, you can just click on the storage option over here on the left, you'll see a hard drive appear and you just simply click the red button that says format. Once you do that, it'll just take a couple seconds. It'll get the hard drive formatted and then you will be ready to go. After you get your hard drive formatted and you come into the camera section, you'll notice that your cameras that are already plugged into the system should be listed here. Now, most cameras will obtain a DHCP IP address. So I have one camera plugged into the machine here, and you can see it has automatically assigned an IP address of 192.168.10.101. Now, GeoVision cameras by default out of the box, they are set to 192.168.0.10, but again, as you can see, this SNVR unit has already given it an IP address. Now, when you do have cameras added in automatically, it is connecting via the default ID and password, which is just admin and admin, all lowercase. If you happen to have made a change to that IP address or that password or the um, username, you will want to go in and edit those details. So to do that, over on the right side, you can just hit, simply hit the edit option and you'll get a window that comes up here. Now again, by default, it's just going to be admin and admin for the password, but if you had changed the password, here's where you can update it. Now on this page, you can also make some additional settings changes. If you want to name the camera, you can do it right here in this field. You can type in whatever name you would like and that's how it would display. You can also click this check mark to enable audio. And then down below, you do have some other options such as frame rate, bit rate, you know, you can make adjustments to your camera right here. Now, once you get your settings set how you like them, you will want to make sure you hit the apply button and then that will save those settings. Once you're done with that, you can just hit the X up in the top right hand corner. So if you don't have your cameras added automatically, you do have the option to manually add cameras to the system. And to do that, you can hit the plus sign right here and it will pop up. By default, it will say GeoVision right here as the protocol. Now, for older generation GeoVision cameras, that would be the protocol to use. But for most of the new generation, you will want to use the GeoVision underscore two protocol. So some of the models that fall under this category are going to be like the GV-EBD series, the TBL series, the TDR series, the TVD series, and several others that are listed in the user manual of the SNVR0812. So be sure to check the manual and see if one of your models falls within that category. For third-party cameras, you would typically connect them via ONVIF or RTSP. But let's say that you do have an older generation GeoVision camera. It doesn't fall under the GeoVision underscore two. You would just leave it as that, enter the ID and password, then you would just manually type in your IP address. And the default port would be 10,000. Now, if it is one of the newer generation models and you use the GeoVision underscore two option, you have all the same fields except you don't have to input the port. So you would just put in your username and password and then you would type in your IP address. Now, once you hit apply, it is going to go ahead and add it to the list, but the last step that you need to do is put a check mark right here. That's going to get the camera connected to the system. Now, since this is not a real camera connected, I'm going to just go ahead and delete this unit and we're just going to work off of this one right here. Now, once you get your cameras added into the system, you will want to go to the record tab 
And this is where you can set if you want to record round the clock, which is indicated by the blue paintbrush, or by motion only, which is indicated by the red paintbrush. Now, by default, out of the box, all of the cameras are set to record round the clock on the SNVR unit. And if you want to change that, up in the top right hand corner, you'd want to click the drop down and you'd want to select the camera that you're interested in. And then you would click on the paintbrush of choice. Let's say if you would want to make it uh, motion recording, click on the red. And then you're just going to simply highlight the time frames that you would like to have motion recording. Now, you do have the option to have some times of the day as motion recording and some times of the day as around the clock. So all you would just do would be to simply highlight the areas where you want it to be motion recording and then leave round the clock for the rest of the time frame. You can also hit apply to all cameras if you want to make it a quicker process. I'm just going to hit apply for this one camera I've selected. Once you've made these settings, you can go in and hit the X in the top right hand corner. It will bring you into live view. And then the last step you will want to do is down here in the bottom right, you will want to click on the record option and hit start all monitoring, which would start recording all cameras that you have connected to the system. This has been a tutorial video on how to add cameras to the GV-SNVR0812 and also how to configure recording settings. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.